Hi guys, Kaval Kishan this side, your business automation coach. And once again, I'm back with another value video. And today I'm going to talk about why manufacturers should systemize their business using Google applications. So if you're a manufacturer, subscribe to the channel and watch the video till the end so that you can get clarity then why you should systemize your business on Google applications. And if you know any manufacturer friend, any manufacturer who is into your industry or your friend circle, make sure you share this video with them so that they can also get the benefit of this knowledge video as well. Friends, we all understand that manufacturing is very operational intensive work. Do you agree? Right? If you talk about car or if you talk about mobile phone or if you talk about LED TV, when we get a finished product delivered at our home, we enjoy that. But a lot of people have no idea on how much, how complex the production process is and how complex and uh, is the operational process is when it comes to these companies, which actually manufactures these products. I have been to a lot of companies, a lot of car companies uh, manufacturing unit and I've seen how complex the structure is and how uh, accuracy is one of their biggest priority when manufacturing the product. Now here, first of all, I'm going to take you through a few areas. Okay. Let me share with you that as a manufacturers, what all things that you need to manage in your business. Guys, I'm training business owners who are from the service industry, from the trading industry, from the manufacturing industry, from the construction and many other industries as well. But one of the most complex industry that I personally find is the manufacturing one. Now let me share with you what are the eight elements that you need to manage first of all in your business. Okay. And due to lack of systems, how these elements become really tough for you to manage. Now the first thing that you manage in a business is client right? You need to acquire your client, new client, and you need to uh, have a relationship with the client and you need to deliver the product and service to the client as well. So client relationship management is one thing which as a manufacturer you need to do. And CRM client uh, relationship management is not only for manufacturers, it is valid for all the other industry as well. There's no business in the world where you don't have to manage the clients. You'll have to manage the clients as well. Second area that manufacturers need to manage is vendors. Okay. When you are trying to, you know, manufacture any product, okay, you will buy the raw material from a third party vendor. Okay. Most of the manufacturers have lined up a lot of raw, you know, vendors from them, from whom they buy the quality raw materials. And then they use the machines, which is in house and the manufacturing it, they package it and then they deliver it. Now, if we talk about service industry, service industry does not require vendors all the time. A lot of service industry students I know who don't have any kind of vendors, but when it comes to the manufacturers, manufacturers need to have a system where they can manage the vendors as well. So if you've got two points here, you're managing the clients and you're managing the vendors as well. Now, third, let's call the biggest elephant in the room, which is called production. You know, manufacturers have a clear detailed production process and which sometimes becomes very tedious to manage. You know, when you're talking about manufacturing any kind of product, any simple to simple kind of product, you know, it requires a number of stages. Okay. You're putting the material, raw material in the machine, and then it is coming into one form and then next form and then goes to the next machine. Then it, you know, there's some polishing, there's some cutting, there's some, uh, finishing. So there are so many processes which are actually involved in the production. And then we talk about inventory as well. When you bought, you know, when you buy the raw material, where do you store that raw material? How much of that raw material actually went onto the production, right? And how much is left in the stock? How many finished got, uh, goods did you produce today? Okay. And uh, every day and how much are left in the stock and how much have been delivered? So inventory management is as well one of the uh, biggest challenge that business owners, especially manufacturers face while they are you know, managing their manufacturing business. And then don't forget about, forget about testing the products as well. When you manufacture any product, you need to focus, you need to finalize that which products are faulty and which, uh, you know, produced products are actually good. You need to deliver only good products to the clients and the wastage products, which, you know, came as faulty while in the production, you sideline them and you want to have a track of them as well. And then, don't forget about the packaging as well. You know, you'll need to have a packaging which is 
you know, told by the client the kind of packaging that the client required from your site, and then you finally need to deliver as well. And then don't forget about the accounts where your team need to have a you know payment follow with them, and then finally get the payment as well. Now see the entire process. You have the clients, you have the vendors, you have the production where you in the entire process you are producing the product, and then you have the inventory where you have a proper track how much raw material did you buy, how much is left in the stock and then you need to reorder as well when that is again went out of the stock and then you test the product quality and then you deliver and then you package it and then you have the account stream which does the follow up as well and with all this thing the kind of team that manufacturers have is not always the white collar the manufacturer industry is having the white collar employees as well as the blue collar employees white collar are the ones which are actually managing your systems which are managing things on your computer maybe accounts maybe customer relationship maybe creating some invoices maybe delivering the product maybe taking your requirement or anything whereas blue collar people are the ones who are working on machines who are doing the core manufacturing work now with all of these things when you don't have systems one thing is for sure that as a manufacturer as a business owner I can guarantee you that more than 80% of your time is just going in managing the operations, isn't it? Type in the comment box, how much percentage of time right now are you or your friend who is into the manufacturing company is spending when it comes to the operations. Now we all understand guys that when it comes to the business, business is not only about operations. Now all these things which I talked about, they were part of the operations of manufacturing firm. But we need to understand that as a manufacturing firm, we need to market ourselves as well. We need to have a marketing department. We need to focus our time on creating marketing as well so that we can have huge amount of leads and inquiries coming up and we can create and convert some good number of clients. Now, unfortunately, due to lack of systems, a lot of business owners don't get the time don't get the time to even market themselves and they just rely on a handful number of clients and you know when things like lockdown when things like covid happens and when the, you know uh, when you have like six seven ten clients that you're relying upon and then half of them leave you you're just you know hanging around and you're wondering what to do because you have a lot of salary to pay and you have a lot of raw material which is right now just getting wasted because you have not got the orders to actually create the products that you wanted so it's very important that you invest your time in marketing and you'll not be able to invest your time in marketing until unless you systemize your business. I'll talk about the technology as well, which technology should go for either G Suite or ERP software. But let me just firstly clarify you that what are the departments which actually business owners are missing and due to that they are compromising on the present and the future of their manufacturing unit. Now marketing is one thing which I told you that manufacturers are not getting the time so you need to make systems you know building the systems for your company is one of the biggest priority because when you systemize your business then only you'll get the time you'll get freedom from operations and that freedom the time that you will buy from the operations you shall be able to devote in the marketing now with the marketing when you generate the inquiries here comes the sales department as well. I've seen a lot of manufacturing companies and a lot of manufacturers who just, uh, you know, do, do, don't have any sales team at all, who are just, you know, the, the salesperson who just are selling by themselves, okay, who don't have any uh, couple of people in the sales team who are actually presenting their product. And when you don't have a sales team, let me tell you, you are compromising on a lot of revenue for your company, okay, because when you're just doing the sales by yourself, 80% of time is already going to the operations and you're not getting time to close more deals than you can. So it's very important for you to create a sales team as well. And let me tell you, when you build systems which can automate your operations of your business, you shall get huge amount of time to even invest in your sales as well. So if you're doing the sales alone, you'll get, you'll get at least double of time for that. And if you want to hire more people in your sales team, you should be able to able to do that as well. But don't hire any sales people before you build systems because it will be a chaos for you because they will not perform according to the standards that you want because you'll not get the time to train them. And here you'll get stuck at the operations the way that you are doing in past so many years. So the solution with all these problems is actually the systems. Until unless you build the systems, you'll be stayed stuck in all these problems. Now, third thing which I talk about is uh, branding. Branding is really important. We all need to understand that 
the time is gone where it was about the small fish and big fish that uh, you know how do you compete with big player or small player the time nowadays is uh, fast fish and slow fish the clients nowadays require fast solution they want uh, you to get back to them whenever they ask or they give any inquiry to you they want to you know get their problem resolved asap people nowadays require solutions fast and you know when you have proper client feedback and client support system that is where your client actually uh, get connected with you and you build a really great relationship with them and when you have a relationship with the client you know suddenly better way your clients start referring you and your clients start referring you that is where you start coming with as a brand because people will not buy from you people will buy from the words which your clients say in the market okay so this activity of uh, taking the client feedback and you know providing them proper support and resolving their queries on time okay help you to get the video testimonials from your client written testimonials from your client and those testimonials you can actually post on different different social media channels including facebook youtube and many other channels as well and that eventually help you to create the brand as well so all the things that we talked about we talked about marketing we talked about sales we talked about branding we talked about customer support and customer feedback now all these things require time and you and your team does not have time because you guys are so busy in operations now i hope till now you got the clarity that why you need to systemize a business why you need all these processes be it the vendor management be it the production process be it the inventory management or be it the packaging and delivery and be it the client onboarding system to be having a proper system where you can track all these things uh, you can check out the link which is in the description and you can attend my free class which i am you know i do every every week and you can find out how google applications play an amazing role on helping you to automate each and every process in your business but now here right now at this point i'm going to first of all talk about uh, the erp software there are a lot of erp softwares which can help you to automate your you know business processes and especially for your manufacturing uh, process manufacturing process but let me tell you why erp softwares are not the solutions for msme sector if you are a big corporate watching this video erp softwares will work for you but if you are a startup or if you are a organization which is having a turnover of less than 100 crore let me tell you erp softwares won't work for you i'll tell you three reasons why they won't work for you the number one reason is erp is rigid okay erp software is rigid and you know it's like when you want to buy any suit do you want a tailor made suit which is you know fitting your body shape or you want a suit which is ready made and you're trying to fit yourself in that so the same way the same situation happens when you buy an erp software and the software will not fulfill the exact requirement that you might have in your company and if we talk about customization of it it's really a big pain and over the year of time when you have when you you know increase your company when you create new processes adding those new processes in the erp can become a big challenge so this is the first reason that erp is rigid and that is the reason it's not the uh, wise solution for sme sector and you might be wondering kevel what is the solution the solution is google application google google forms google sheets and i'll tell you why these google applications are really perfect match for msme sector but let me complete other two reasons as well next reason why you should not buy erp software is that your team your employees are not comfortable with having a screen and they need to log in a lot of data and then they sign up and then they start working on it your team is very much comfortable with simple excel files now when i talk about google applications google has an application called google sheets which is exactly as equal to excel files okay and when you upgrade your business from excel to google applications your employees feel very comfortable okay and what is the usage of a software if you do not if your employees don't use it so that is the second reason that erps are not very user friendly and uh, it won't work if you are want your employees to work on them uh, with comfortability okay and third reason is scalability erp might solve one process of your company or one problem of your company but if you want to add other processes as well on that and if you want a comprehensive uh, a complete solution 
where you're talking about the sales, you're talking about the marketing, you're talking about the operations, your inventory management, your client feedback, everything in one solution, that is where EIP does not fulfill that. And you will have to buy five, six different different solutions and you will end up spending at least in between five to 10 lakh rupees if you want to automate your business processes. Whereas if you talk, if you talk about G Suite, if you talk about Google applications, these applications come free and all your business processes can actually get automated. Now you're wondering how to do that. For that, you need to attend my complimentary class, which I do every week. So check out the description of the video and sign up for the masterclass and I'll see you there. Now, when I say that Google applications are the best solutions for the MSME sector, uh, using Google applications like Google Forms, Google Sheets, Google Sites, you can easily capture the data through mobile, through laptop, through any device from any person. Second, you can manage the data on Google Sheets. Now, Google Sheet is as equal to simple as Excel file. However, it is an upgrade and a better version of it because it's on cloud and your team will be able to manage it and will be able to work on it collaboratively anytime. And thirdly, you'll be able to track your operations and other work while working from anywhere. So in this video, I hope you got the clarity that why manufacturers should systemize their business using Google applications. Thanks for watching. Kevil Kishin, your business automation coach. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and make sure you leave the comment on what was the biggest learning from this video and make sure you share the video with other manufacturing friends. And I'll see you in next value video. Take care. Bye-bye.